Welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled Best Supplements for Improving Sleep, Dr. Andrew Huberman, that was produced by the YouTube channel Huberman Lab Clips, is six minutes and 21 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember, now I've semi-retired, I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days, as well as reading articles, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I exercise, and I only review videos like this one that I think are gonna give good longevity value. So although it's a critique of his original content, it is most certainly not a negative criticism. First, he tackles supplements that are gonna prevent you from waking up in the middle of the night. First on that list is myo-inositol. He says that taking 900 milligrams of this can help reduce the time it takes to fall back asleep if you wake up during the night. It also has good mood regulating benefits. Secondly, he talks about theanine. While it can help many people to fall asleep, it can also cause extremely vivid dreams leading to wakening. So those who wake from intense dreams should really try to avoid theanine. He then switches to supplements that can help you fall asleep. First on the list is magnesium, but specifically magnesium threonate and magnesium bisglycinate. These forms of magnesium cross the blood-brain barrier, aiding in the transition to sleep without any severe drowsiness, making them effective, but still mild sleep aids. He then talks about apigenin. This is a derivative of chamomile. Apigenin reduces anxiety, which helps quiet the mind and then promote restful sleep. Then Andrew Huberman recommends a sleep supplementation strategy. He advises a rational approach. In that, when it comes to experimenting with these supplements, he says to assess each supplement for a week without any other changes to find out the most effective one for you. Then, if no single supplement works, combining magnesium threonate and apigenin and possibly theanine, if vivid dreams aren't going to be an issue for you, may be beneficial. Andrew Huberman says that the key is to try one supplement at a time, assess its impact and then potentially combine them, but really only if needed. This helps in finding the most effective formulation for you. A systematic method, he says, has three main benefits. Those being you find a protocol that works best for you and you don't have to follow blindly someone else's best guess. Also, by trying them one at a time, you narrow down the supplement that is going to be most effective for you, which can also help minimize the cost. By monitoring each of the supplement's effects on you, you can then optimize their overall effect. I use this systematic strategy for the supplements that I add to my stack. I add it, I assess it, and then I record it. The next supplement that I shall be reintroducing will be berberine, and more on that in my next update video. Sleep is the third of my longevity pillars. Let me know in the comments below, do you have any specific sleep issues? 